Hey guys, what's up? Um, sorry I haven't made a video in a while. Been pretty sick. Uh, I was sick for two weeks. Just awful. All congested, sore, thrown up and stuff like that. So, um, I actually missed three days of my real job, so <laughs> kind of sucked. But, um, got something cool for the show you today. Got a package. Booyah! Um, from a guy that I'm going to do some custom work for. Um, really nice, great, great guy. Uh, a couple hours away from me, so we got to kind of uh, work with what we got uh, back and forth and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, without any further ado, here we go. As you can tell, real nice. Damascus pattern, but it is Damascus, not just pattern. Damn it, focus. There we go. Real good shape. I looked it over um, and uh, can't see any flaws in it, which is awesome. You know, when you spend 70 to 80 dollars on just a blade blank. Uh, false wedge on the top. Uh, this would be more like a skinning hunting knife. I think it's an eighth inch thickness. I'm pretty sure it's eighth. Um, but yeah, the back part is uh, stainless steel. Uh, it's already all heat treated and uh, acid etched. This is welded on there and then ground down. Uh, you can't see any transition up here. Looks real good. Um, he wants me to put uh, possibly a brass guard here. It's going to finish off with desert ironwood, uh, black G10 space spacers, or not spacers, um, liners, and uh, I might have to move these pins because he wants a uh, lanyard hole. So I'm going to have to move the pins over, maybe uh, possibly a quarter of an inch there. Here, I'm also going to have to drill some holes for. Uh, the brass guard if he wants that so I can um, put some brass tubes in there what you do is you heat the end of the brass tubes or black brass uh, pins uh, it kinda softens them up a little bit and then you peen them in there and you sand you know sand it all down flush with the handle and everything so um, yeah just a great looking blade I mean I always just love Damascus just for the looks of it I think this is two fingers, Damascus, which is pretty good. Uh, there's a lot of misconceptions, and there's a lot of, you know, this way's better and this way's not better with Damascus. As for folds, yeah, you, sh you should have at least a thousand. Hold on a second. You should at least have a thousand uh, different layers in there. Um, some people say you shouldn't have less than 400. Um, you want to get anywhere in between there, my personal opinion. Uh, the more you get, the more layers you have in there, um, the more diluted the look is, and also um, the performance. I mean, keeping a sharp edge and stuff like that. Um, the less you have um, is, is kind of the same thing. So, um, But in the opposite spectrum. I mean, you have, might have some soft spots and things like that. So. Um, but awesome, just beautiful. Kind of a price or size comparison. So it is a pretty big knife. Um, it's going to be great for hunting and things like that. Kydex sheep with that. And uh, well, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Um, have a great rest of the weekend and uh, more videos coming soon. I got some really cool stuff I'm working on. As well as I'm going to try to replicate the Damascus look without having Damascus so <laughs> um, that's upcoming soon so 